The Invest to Slovenian program, along with some of the most outstanding Slovenian companies, is presently actively involved at the extraordinary two-day forum of the International Knowledge Economy Network, CAN, which has their headquarters in Brussels. Over 200 visitors from 15 countries, including well-established reputable economists, experts, opinion leaders and representatives of various institutes, have showed interest and have partaken at this spectacular opportunity. The Ken Forum 2011 is taking place in the creative surroundings of the Hotel Habakkuk in Maribor today and tomorrow, the 6th and 7th of June, and began with yesterday's welcoming of participants, which through the invitation of the President of the Knowledge Economy Network, was also attended by the President of the Pan-Slovenian Shareholders Association. Um, I'm also glad that uh, in this context of my uh, visits here in Slovenia to meet the companies and also at various conferences, uh, I was um, glad to meet uh, Mr. Christian who through the Pan-Slovenian Association for Small Shareholders is providing an um, excellent platform that can give um, uh, a neutral view to those people or those companies or those organizations or those wealth funds or investors who could invest uh, from India into Slovenia. I think this forms a base to get knowledge, to foster governance, to bring transparency, and these are the foundations for success. And I think the organization is doing a great service as a public non-profit organization uh, to help the interest of the small shareholders and also provide valuable information because based on this information, decisions can be taken for the success uh, of uh, companies and if investors are happy with good decisions they will come back and invest more and this creates uh, a deeper partnership so i'm happy with the with the job uh, the slovenian pan slovenian shareholders association is doing i wish them all the best and i'm sure that under the leadership of christian whom i have met um, over the last two days I am sure that uh, the organization will continue to grow and continue to offer better services to not only stakeholders here in Slovenia but stakeholders to the region and also probably to stakeholders uh, in India and elsewhere in the world. We gathered around 100 people and among them, this is all by invitation, um, many really uh, prominent experts in their domains. And the work is um, divided into two parts. The plenary part is relatively small, just the introductory uh, program. Uh, and then we will focus our discussion in 10 thematic tables. And these tables are covering Europe 2020 uh, strategy and the prospects of knowledge economy. We are looking at uh, academia business uh, partnerships. We are looking at the importance of women in business decision making at um, knowledge economy network, uh, knowledge economy um, indicators and monitoring. Um, we have also a small thematic uh, table on the youth and knowledge economy. So you see um, the topic is subdivided into very interesting subjects. Besides that, we will also adopt a resolution, uh, a, pay, a two page document which will summarize the main uh, recommendations and uh, let's say policy framework for the efforts to achieve knowledge economy. Uh, I'm sure that uh, the forum will be a major step uh, towards developing the knowledge economy network because after the forum, uh, tomorrow afternoon, we have the first um, regular meeting of uh, general meeting of the members and that will be followed also by a meeting of the International Advisory Board, which will be chaired by the distinguished uh, Canadian professor and chairman of the Canadian uh, Science, Technology and Innovation Board. I'm happy that uh, between India and Slovenia there is a huge opportunity. This opportunity comes um, especially in the context that the uh, Prime Minister uh, of Slovenia will be visiting soon India and uh, we hope that this visit can uh, deepen the relationship between the countries, can see new forms of partnership uh, emerge between the countries. I think um, there is a lot of uh, possibility for synergy between Slovenia and India, between companies in India and Slovenia, because Slovenia uh, 
for us uh, can be a gateway to Europe, can be a point where uh, India can get friendly, cost-effective, efficient and uh, knowledge-based access to Europe, uh, building in the beginning foundations of trust and then partnership uh, which are mutually beneficial and therefore to be able to foster win-win relationship uh, in the long run.